Hello everyone, it's February 1, 10.38 p.m. I know that's way different from my usual 5 o'clock range uh, when I normally film, but I was just so preoccupied then my brain was just doing like a million things that I totally forgot about it. That I almost, correction, I almost forgot to film, but I remember. So good news, my shoulder pain, my left shoulder pain has gone away. Um, I woke up with wrist, el like left wrist, left elbow, left ankle pain. I did some yoga to try and like stretch it out. So that helped out like a lot now the only thing I really need to focus on is like my elbow <laughs> and just like being able to um walk around in terms of today it was kind of weird I woke up like coughing like at five in the morning I'm an early bird so usually I wake up at like what seven I woke up coughing for like what 10 20 minutes and then like today like my throat has just been like feeling dry and stuff I don't know if that's just like has to do with like weather or or anything but yeah my throat has just like felt a little like dry I drank some tea hence why I'm awake right now actually um I drank tea that surprisingly had caffeine in it and uh I'm feeling a little sleepy but I still feel like energy right now so I'm gonna try and force myself to go to sleep after this but other than that yeah like that's the only main thing it's just like my throat has been a little weird so we shall see so i will give an update tomorrow hello everyone it is february 2nd it is 10 16 p.m kind of getting like fed up with quarantine already just because i am so close i'm more than halfway to the 10 day point and this experience has taught me I do not want to go through this again. Oh my goodness, like even day five, I was starting to lose my mind. And now it's just, once I finish like the full 10 days, I'll be ready to like just run out the door. And I don't even know where the heck I'm going to go because I, I am sick of being inside of here. Oh my God. I love my apartment. I love my unit. I, I love it. But I can only keep walking like a small amount of space for so long and so yeah I I don't I mean like in general I don't want COVID again but this experience has taught me I really don't want COVID again like one because like being sick sucks two the quarantine is just frustrating and like you're tempted to leave but you're but for me, I'm like, no, I must protect people. I don't want them to get what I have. So yeah. So yeah, that's that's me partially losing my mind. So guess another update tomorrow then. Hi everyone, it is February 3rd, 8.43 p.m. Surprised I'm not filming this at like 10 o'clock as I usually have been for the past few days. Um, it is what day eight, I think, of the quarantine. In terms of symptoms, um, yesterday I had like pain to my left vein, but I think it's gotten better now. Um, I just have a huge headache because I've been like glued to my laptop because of like this giant project I've been doing for work. And since I've been teleworking, I literally have to go like this. I really need to update my work from home um, gear anyway. I feel like I should have addressed this earlier. Why I haven't left my apartment as of yet, despite the fact that CDC is like, oh, after five days, like, you know, if you test negative an antigen, um, you can just, you know, just mask up whenever you go outside. And the reason why, like, I haven't left, one, because it's so cold out here in Boston. Like, I just don't feel like putting on all the layers to go outside and walk. Two, um, I live pretty, like, high up. And there was only one elevator working right now. And then there are times when both of them are not working. So basically the likelihood of me having to share an elevator in a cramped and like with a bunch of people, if it's just like one or two people, like I'd be fine. But a bunch of people cramped together, you know, with the mask, you know, I just don't want to put myself in that situation when I'm still technically uh, I'm still of the isolation period, as well as like 
put others at that risk as well. So yeah, that's why I haven't left. Either way, it doesn't even matter because tomorrow there's going to be another storm um, coming up. So <laughs> another winter storm coming up. So can't even leave much anyway. But yeah, that's me. And I am so ready to leave quarantine when I can. So I'll see y'all tomorrow. Hi everyone. It is February 4, 7.34 p.m. I am of day nine of the quarantine. I was so tempted to leave quarantine today because I found out that both of the elevators are now functioning perfectly fine and I would have been like out the door, but I just kind of decided, you know what? I'm almost done with the quarantine. I can stick it out for one more day. In terms of side effects, I'm not really feeling anything. I just feel side effects from other things like my upper back hurting because I keep slumping uh, for teleworking and stuff. But yeah, in terms of like COVID related side effects, I don't feel anything. I just didn't, I just don't feel comfortable like leaving without having done the full 10 days. I just don't want to have to worry in the back of my mind that like, oh, I could still like be somewhat contagious at this point, especially because Google just recommended to me like a bunch of like contrasting articles like, hey, you're not that contagious after day five day five but like you could be really contagious still after day five and I'm just like you know what just finish the whole quarantine just get it over with get it done and then I can just go back to being still of the careful self that I already was so yeah um tomorrow will be the last vlog the last day so and we'll see you all tomorrow everyone it is Decep December January wait what February oh my god five yeah, February 5th, 10.06 I p.m. It is day 10, last day. I am done uh, starting tomorrow with the quarantine. I may have been a little bad and actually left my apartment today, but but I went only on my the ground floor of my apartment because I have to drop off some recycling. So I didn't leave my apartment complex at all, but I, I left my unit. So, But no one was in the elevator with me throughout the whole time, so... Uh, I think I'm good. I have been spending pretty much all day like sanitizing the heck out of my place because I just want to make sure that like everything that like I use that like I'd have to use often like my utensils and everything like that is just very deeply sanitized. I replace anything that could like hold COVID for like a long term, you know, replace toothbrushes, stuff like that because I just want to make sure um, everything is, is good. Um, I'm even using the dishwasher for like the first time in my life, I'm Asian. Like Asian people usually don't use dishwashers. We are usually the dishwashers. So this is a first because I want to make sure everything is heavily sanitized. Um, sometimes like I've been noticing the past couple of days, like my ankles have been hurting. Like it's been alternating like which ankle. So I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep a watch on that. I know I've gotten some alert that um, I could, you know, just to watch your symptoms for the next couple, next few months because there could be some long-term, you know, implications. So I really hope that this is my last video in relation to the COVID, but we don't know. Um, but I still want to give like an update um, in a few months about how I'm doing and stuff like that. Um, overall, COVID sucks. I'm lucky that I only had a very mild version of it, but COVID is a butt. Please don't get it. You can do whatever you can to not get it. Please do it by getting vaccinated, you know, by continuing to do, to wear the masks, doing the distance, you know, not coming into work if you don't need to. But yeah, you know, it, COVID sucks. I hated it, even though it wasn't that bad for me. It, you know, for other people, it could have actually been, for other people, it is a lot worse and you know, this experience has just taught me one, I never want COVID ever again, because this, like the, the symptoms suck. Two, I don't want COVID again, because the isolation sucks too. So and then if you have learned anything from my experience throughout this whole video, that COVID sucks, and this isolation sucks. So just try not to get COVID, <laughs> if anything, and do what you can to make sure other people don't get COVID because it sucks. So overall, I will not see you tomorrow. This is the last video. I hope that this has been an educational experience. This has been an experience for me as well. And I hope 
everyone has a safe and healthy good night.